The best lawyers just know how to dance better. They have the best moves in opening and closing arguments. They have smooth steps during cross-examination and presenting evidence. But this all starts in rehearsals and going through millions of documents to choreograph the best arguments. That's the hard part, but Disco's tech is changing that. Check this out. Austin-based Disco is revolutionizing how lawyers conduct document review, organize witness testimony, and find evidence buried in millions of emails and text messages with artificial intelligence. We're using technology to make the law work better. Kiwi Kamara is the founder and CEO. He says their technology can shorten the time of legal discovery and therefore named his company Disco. If you think of a lot of the work that lawyers do, think of any TV show where you see Aaron Brockovich going through the documents, right? We can train AI systems to do that for the lawyer so that we're able to review huge volumes of potential evidence at scale. Disco designed an intuitive legal interface that lawyers can integrate into their workflow. You just drag and drop the documents that your client may have given to you and then you can run searches, tag them and indicate what's important, what's not important. And some big commercial cases may have a million to 10 million or more documents. Think about a case about a defective product, right? Every email, every lab test, every piece of marketing collateral, every document that shows how much of the product is sold and who sold it, the testing that was done, all of that is this massive trove of data. Kamara says Disco finds the needle or the key piece of evidence in the haystack. It's like Google for private data. They also just released a chatbot in its AI platform. So lawyers can ask the, the, the technology questions that they would otherwise maybe ask or spend hours and hours researching. So now the lawyer can focus on persuasive case strategy and not just doc review. And so what the impact that has to uh, their end client means that they're able to get to resolution on what that litigation is faster, they're able to reduce down the cost, and for the attorneys, able to differentiate themselves from other attorneys around how they use technology to be able to help them to win their cases. And when it comes to the legal document dance, Disco's tech has already been used in high-profile cases. Is yeah, we've on? worked on uh, the opioid litigation that I'm sure you've read about, um, the 737 MAX crashes, um, the uh, Leaning Tower of San Francisco, Millennium Tower. He says this is just the beginning, and he says Austin is the perfect city to build disco services and grow the company. It's just a wonderful city to be in tech and to be building things. You go to a coffee shop, uh, it's a startup environment, people are talking about what they can build, um, and it's still a place with very much a growth mindset. Next week on Tech This Out, a company is changing the way doctors rehearse for critical surgeries using 3D printed models of human organs. And join me on Tuesday of next week for the Austin Next podcast with host Jason Scharf. I will be a guest on Jason's popular podcast about the future of Austin's tech scene. Well, what's next, Austin? I think there's going to be an explosion here in the next year. I predict in the next year, there's going to be a sense that we're not Silicon Hills. We're not the also ran. There's going to be things coming out of Austin where they're going to say, wow, Austin Tech, the Austin Technopolis is its own thing. It's not something that's an also ran or we're trying to be in the shadow of Silicon Hills or Silicon Valley. Join us for the Austin Next podcast with Jason Scharf on Tuesday, September 12th. Go to austinnextpodcast.com. Walt Makaborski, CBS Austin News.